okay inhalation and statics inhaled gases are primarily for maintenance of anesthesia after the administration of an IV drug you can see here it is these are inhaled and statics they are given uh, through inhalation and it reaches through the lungs to the brain to the systemic circulation and to the brain now these are used to minimize waste and inhaled gases are delivered in recirculation system and that contain absorbance to remove carbon dioxide and allow rebreathing of the gases now common features of inhaled anesthetics are they are non inflammable non explosive nitrous oxide volatile and halogenated hydrocarbon these agents also decrease cerebrovascular resistance and increase in brain perfusion they cause bronchodilation and decrease respiratory drive and hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction now what are the characteristic features potency these are the potency of isoflurane one point two percent, sevoflurane two percent, desflurane six percent, and nitrous oxide is one hundred and five percent. So these are the minimal alveolar concentrations for anesthetic gases that are used to compare. Now this high MSC for those which is MSC is high, it means they are low potent isoflurane is more potent now uptake and distribution of inhalation anesthetics alveolar wash in it reverses the normal lung gases that with the inspired anesthetic mixture the time required for this is directly proportional to the functional residual capacity of the lung now these are some concept you can just over you can just check out them anesthetic uptake removal to peripheral tissues other than brain depends on solubility in the blood now most soluble is isoflurane blood gas partition coefficient then sevoflurane then nitrous oxide and then desflurane it also depends on cardiac output. Cardiac output is inversely correlated with the induction time. Alveolar to venous partial pressure gradient. The gradient between this and returning venous gas partial pressure result from tissue uptake from the arterial delivery. Effect of different tissues on different types of anesthetics. Vessel rich group. These are brain, heart, liver, kidney and endocrine. Highly perfused and they will rapidly attain state. skeletal muscles they are moderately perfused fat is poorly perfused vessel poor group bone ligament and cartilage they are also poorly perfused washout is removed through inspired mixture now you can see this is the induction alveolar concentration and in minutes and this is recovery Now mechanism of action, no specific receptor has been identified at the locus to create a state of general anesthesia. The fact that chemically unrelated compounds produce unconsciousness. Now a clinically infective general anesthesia increases the sensitivity of GABA-A inhibitory neurotransmitter and uh, this will increase the chloride influx and hyperpolarization of neurons. CNS activity is diminished. Now you can see here, this is the mechanism of action. First, no when there is no anesthesia, binding of GABA will cause the chloride ion channel to open and chloride will enter and it will hyperpolarize. Now when uh, this is due to no an anesthetic. Now when the anesthetic anesthesia anesthetic is inhaled, what happens? Binding of GABA is enhanced. So greater GABA binding, greater chloride and entry of chloride ions in the cell making it more difficult to depolarize and therefore reduces neural excitability.